Hello everybody, I want to show you this video of first 10 things to do with the Samsung Galaxy A21 and A21s. So the first thing I want to show you is about the navigation because you have two ways to navigate here in that phone. Um, the first one is with the navigation bar I have here right now or otherwise it could work also with gestures. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so for that, just scroll down here, then go here to the symbol for the settings. So then we will need the point display. And here we will need the point navigation bar. Okay, so actually, as you can see, I have set up the navigation buttons as my uh, default. And uh, yeah, by the way, uh, you can also change the button order here. If you want to have the back button here instead of the recent, uh, you can change these both buttons here. Um, let me go back and yeah, but let us check out the gestures. So um, let us take them here, the full screen gestures. And uh, then you have instead of the navigation bar here, um, some very small bars, no? but they have the same meaning. So these are the recent tabs here. No? So this is the back button if I swipe it up and it's the home button if I swipe it up. And if I hold the home button longer and swipe it in, like me now, I will have the Google Assistant. No? Okay, and uh, you can change also the gestures uh, to another mode no? by other gestures. So if you go here on more options, you can use um, uh, uh, the gestures in a different uh, way. If I take it now here, I have uh, now just one bar here. And that means that I uh, go back with the sides here, like it's explained here in this um, little animation. So if I want to go back one step, I swipe in from the from the sides no, like this. I can choose both sides. And uh, the home button is just like this. No? And if I want to have the recent tabs, I would uh, just go in the middle, leave it, and I have my here my recent tabs. So it's uh, very similar to the iPhone and also to uh, Huawei and uh, so on. The next feature I want to show you is about the home screen apps because as you can see i have four apps here but i can use also the big space and can have more apps there in the row and um, so i can change the grid so let me show you what i mean so just use two fingers and swipe them as a pinch them in uh, like me now pinch them in and then you have here that little menu and if you go now here on the home screen settings you have here um, the home screen layout at first and you have here the home screen grid and app screen grid, so the app launcher grid. No? So let's go here on the home screen grid. And uh, now I can choose maybe um, more apps here, no? or less apps as I want. And you can see always a preview um, with your existing apps on the screen. And the same thing you can do also here on the second line on the app screen grid. Um, no? Actually, we have um, four apps in five rows. And I can make also uh, maybe here five apps in six rows. No? Then I have much more apps here on a row and uh, or on one uh, screen. So yeah, uh, change it into the one you like the most. And in that mode here, no? if you go back here uh, again, then we have also the point hide apps. So you can hide apps here on the phone if you don't want that someone sees that you have Instagram or another app and so on. You can go here on hide apps and then you will see here a list no? with the apps you can hide. Maybe I want to hide, maybe let's take, uh, let's take Instagram just for example. And now Instagram is no more good than you're done. No? And uh, now Go back one step so that you're back here and here and go back one step again so that I'm back in my home screen. And if I go now here to the app launcher, no? I have not again my Instagram account here. No? So, and how to have my Instagram account here, the invisible one, I have to search especially for my Instagram account. So I have to enter then in star. No? Then I have it here, then I will find it but uh, it's, it's completely hidden. If you want to have the hidden app back, so just same thing, use two fingers, pinch them in to have this menu here, go here on the settings, then go on the point, hide apps, 
and then you can remove here it from the hidden app status and go on done and instagram now is back or should be back yeah it's, it's back here at my app launcher so the next feature i want to show you is the blue light filter because uh, to be honest we all use our smartphone a bit too often and this is disturbing our eyes and uh it gives a lot of stress and so on and also sometimes you sleep not so well after using your smartphone and there's a blue light filter included to reduce this phenomenon yeah just scroll down here scroll down a second time and then we will have here the symbol for the blue light filter the b so tap it and as you can see the turn the phone is turning into another color because the screen is reducing the blue light right now and uh, at first it is a bit unusual maybe but after a few hours your your eyes getting used to and you uh, for you it's just normal no? but it's it's very good for the eyes and i really recommend this feature to you yeah and there's a second uh, feature uh, to support the eyes especially in the night it's the dark mode because um the screen have many white stuff and so on here and that disturbs the eyes as well next to the brightness because uh, it makes the screen more white the white colors so uh, let me show you how we can enable the dark mode so just scroll down here scroll on a second time and now you will have a second page here at the shortcuts by the way and here is the dark mode and if i enable it now the darks also the screen becomes dark and that is very nice in the evening or in, in, in areas where it is more dark and so on um, it is better for the eyes and uh, yeah you can schedule this feature by the way also because uh, most of the time the dark times are the night and you can schedule this feature that it's turning on always automatically um, at a certain time huh? so just go on the written word dark mode and then you will have the point details so and if you here you can turn on it as scheduled yeah? and i would recommend to you to turn it on from sunset to sunrise yeah the next feature i would recommend to you is um, the the screen zoom because the the phone have a large screen um, as we have learned already with the app grip and so on and you can zoom in uh, the screen to make it a bit bigger now also to make the letters a bit bigger so let me show you how it works so just scroll down here then go here to the symbol for the settings so and then we will need the point display so and here we will need the point screen zoom so and here you can zoom in and make also the words the written words bigger and so on so a nice mode uh, to use really the big screen nah? and uh, if you go now back one step so that we are in the main display settings here we can support the screen zoom feature here also with the font style and uh, we can upgrade the text size nah? so you can do it as well nah? and if we go back now uh, one step again you can see everything is a bit bigger and also the letters are bigger so if you have not that good eyes anymore i would really recommend to you this feature yeah, the next feature i want to show is the power saving mode uh, because uh, you can extend much the battery time and uh, yeah let me show you how that works so just scroll on here scroll on a second time and then we will have here the power mode don't go on the symbol first go here just on the power mode on the written words and uh, here you can uh, choose um, so optimize this the one to so the basic one uh, um, but uh, with the medium power saving mode uh, we have uh, some backward activities uh, turn off and turned off and uh, also um, the screen brightness will reduce a bit and so on but i would recommend you if you're really in need and you don't know when you can charge your phone the next time and so on um, then i would recommend to you the maximum power saving mode um, because uh, the screen brightness will be reduced the limit also there will be a limit for the cpu speed and uh, in the next step you will see the phone is turning turn off many activities uh, because you can just use um, a few apps but you can set up these apps before and this is what i want to show you right now and as you can see the estimated uh, um, time now is uh, for the battery is almost three 
days so with 38 percent no? so it's much and uh, you can just use four apps uh, sorry eight apps no so these uh, four apps are pre-installed like phone messaging internet and settings and here you can add also other apps like at me now youtube or you can add also maybe here uh, uh, gmail yeah, but the big disadvantage is you cannot use uh, stuff like whatsapp or instagram here in that uh, um, in that mode because uh, samsung have not really access to uh, reduce um, the background activities here to a minimum um, this is the only uh, disadvantage but uh, people could reach you yeah and um, you can check as well on the internet and, and so on and you can extend your battery life extremely and in case you need one of the other apps or you are back into life and can charge your phone again uh, you can go here on the three points and go here on turn off power saving mode and um, let us see uh, how long is the basic time of the warning as we have with the power saving mode the phone could go now for three days uh, was estimated and now it's just 16 hours so um, a bit more than a half day so you can see what you can squeeze out of the battery if you're using the power saving mode and the next feature i want to show you is about the flashlight you know the flashlight already here on the torch now you can on it and off it uh, but there's a nice uh, tool for the for the flashlight here as well because you can adjust the brightness né? so just scroll on here scroll on a second time now and now you have to go here on the written word below the flashlight or torch icon now um, so on flashlight or torch here so the written word and uh, if you on it you can change now the brightness né? you can make a lower brightness or very bright yeah? and uh, yeah maybe <laughs> if you need uh, in the very dark area a bright flashlight you can enable it here so let me off it again and let's go to the next point and that uh, is about cloning apps so uh, you can have two whatsapp accounts on this phone uh, you can have uh, yeah two facebook accounts on that phone and especially with WhatsApp, we have a dual SIM phone here. So why not using two WhatsApp accounts then? Huh? So let me show you how this works. Okay, so just scroll down here. Then go to the SIM before the settings. So then scroll down to the point. Advanced features. And here we have the point dual messenger. So at this list, you will see all the apps which want to support it on your phone for this uh, feature. So let me enable them here. Install a second WhatsApp account. And May is asking you also if you want to have a separate contact list. So then you don't use the main contact list. You have an own contact list for the second WhatsApp account. And yeah, let's remove the, uh, let's uh, enable the other one as well here. Facebook, Snapchat, and messenger so you can just clone by the way messenger apps huh? and um, yeah let us go now here to the app launcher to see how it looks like né? so this is my main whatsapp account né? and this is the second one and as you can see the second one is always mar marked with an orange um, corner here and so this is how you can recognize it the same with facebook my original facebook account and my second facebook account here with um, the orange corner same also with messenger and with snapchat no? original and the second one so by the way you can also combine these dual apps also with the hiding app area as we have learned so if we use two fingers now pinch them in we have we have here the settings for the home screen and now if we go here on the point hide apps again we can use this feature as well to hide the second facebook account from our apps you can do this as well and yeah so that means that now the second facebook account is no more here on the app launcher and that's how you can use it as well okay and the last mode i want to show you is about the one-handed mode because we have a large screen and by the way i have very large hands but i cannot reach also with my large hands here every corner of the phone and uh, there's a one-handed mode uh, by just swiping down here the home screen and then i have 
access to the better access to the screen and this complete screen i can work completely here on the phone and so on and if i want to go back i just tap here on the black field but this you have to enable first so let me show you how you can do that so just scroll down here then go to the symbol for the settings and then go to the point advanced features and here we have the one-handed mode so in this one-handed mode has to be enabled so this has to be marked blue here and then you have two ways for the one-handed mode one with gestures like at me now if we swipe down and i have the home screen uh, then i have the um yeah, the one-handed mode and uh, yeah if i want to go back i can tap here or if i may be uh, left-handed now so this is the right-handed one-handed mode i can uh, go here on the arrow i can go here on this arrow to have it now on the other side and now it is also for left-handed people okay but i'm right-handed so i want to go back here and uh, yeah so and if you want to finish the one-handed mode just tap here on the black field and you, you are back at the general um yeah to the big screen huh? okay uh you can also choose uh, the button method to enable the one-handed mode then you have to tap for three times on the yeah sorry for two times on the home button yeah? the rest is the same yeah? to go back here on the black field two times on the home button and you are here at the one-handed mode but i prefer um the one-handed mode with the gesture okay so with just uh, just swiping down now and yeah yeah we are at the end and uh, i hope i could show you something uh, new uh, for your phone so that you start well because the phone is nice and so on for that price and uh, yeah uh, if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me some thumbs that would be very helpful for my videos uh, thank you so so much for and uh, yeah i've also created some other videos if you're interested in uh, some other tips and tricks and so on for the a21 and a21s and uh, yeah or you can also just subscribe me and yeah would be really a pleasure to see you again and uh, yeah maybe next time <laughs> ciao